Okay, welcome back everybody, Drone Tech here. So today I was on YouTube and saw Destiny's most recent upload, which is uh, another change my mind. An idea I'm pretty sure he took from Steven Crowder, which is funny to me. But his topic is conservatives hate trans people. I watched it, I thought that the uh, college students who responded to him uh, had pretty weak arguments. Wish I could have been there. And so the next best thing is for me to just create a video responding to him. Maybe he'll see it. I disagree most. Uh, other videos that you're talking about, I would say like I disagree most with the one of like conservatives hate trans people. Okay. Because while on one hand, obviously there's going to be conservatives who like have genuine animosity towards hatred or right wingers who have genuine animosity towards or just anybody. Like, why do they have to be conservatives, Republicans, or right wingers? That's one of the things that tells me that certain people in in power or, or activists or whatever are just using this as a way to paint all of their opposition as inhuman monsters. Transgender people, mm -hmm. like you go a fortune, that's very self-evident, but like, I think that so much has changed, with just, even within the last 10 years or even the five, past five years on the, on the discourse and conversation about gender, that I think a lot of people and especially conservatives are like, hesitant to embrace all of that and i don't think that that hesitancy to embrace this like idea that gender is like a social construct or that you can be multiple genders at the same time or no gender or mm -hmm. change gender i whim it's like yeah exactly this is essentially a religion this did not this started somewhere i think around 50 years ago uh and, and i'm not going to get into all that because again I, it's dangerous to talk about these things on youtube uh, but essentially, this was started by kind of a quack and uh, not kind of a quack. The guy was a total whack job. OK, and now this is what we're going to suddenly adopt. It just so seemed to have been injected into our society very quickly. Uh, you know, 10 years ago, this wasn't a thing. Now, suddenly it's really being pushed hard at all levels and in all institutions. So people should be uh, skeptical about that and they should ask questions. And it is troubling that people who do ask questions and who stand up to this are you know put into a category that is undesirable you know i obviously think there's nothing wrong with being conservative or christian or republican or white or any of these things but clearly there are people that think there are and so if you take these views they put you into this undesirable group i think that's coming as a shock to a lot of people including conservatives and not even conservatives at all like i was talking with my family members who are like you know hardcore um you know lifelong democrats or even further to the left and they'll they'll express the same reservations to me and i feel like that doesn't constitute hatred yeah i mean there are definitely people that are genuinely confused i can buy that um i think the issue that i wait a minute. have wait a minute destiny who are the people that are confused here are you saying the people who refuse to go along with your belief that a man can become a woman or a man a woman can become a man or a little boy can become a girl or vice versa this is a belief that you all have this is not reality and this is what's so troubling is the way you treat it as if anybody who's not with your belief is a hate monger is spreading hatred uh, if you don't believe in Christian beliefs, does that make you a hate monger? When it comes to like legislation, when it comes to conservative leaders talking about trans people, rather than figuring out like, hey, like here's a line of dialogue. This is what I would say. I support this, right? There's probably an issue right now, especially on college campuses, especially with young women, all wanting to be fucking non-binary, okay? Because they dye their hair, they get a piercing, and now they're non-binary, okay? This is definitely like an issue that is happening in college. Definitely needs to be talked about, okay? So do you think it, that, that there's like a trend and they're just like, yes, you know, okay. absolutely that's a trend, okay? Okay, so, all right, so I think I know what he's saying. He's saying that there are people that this is a trend for, but then there are real trans people, is pretty sure what he's gonna say. And while I agree that there are people who see themselves as trans, trans itself is not a real thing okay it's something that exists in the mind of the person themselves and hey i'm all for that person being able to live and affirm their life the way that they want to as long as it does not affect you know other people but it does affect other people when you start like forcing people to go along with it or they're a hate monger that that's a problem okay okay however while I recognize that's a trend, I also recognize that there are very real trans people that do need like medical treatment and help like transitioning. I feel like a good conversation is like, how hold on, need help transitioning. There's no transitioning. If you get surgery and they grow a, a hunk of skin on your leg and then they use that hunk of skin to form a, a fake uh, male penis, that's not real. It's just a facade. It's imaginary. And hey, I'm fine with people doing that. I don't want to stop adults from doing that. But the main issue here is children and children being 
uh, subjected to this when their minds aren't fully formed they have no idea what they want yet we don't let those people drink or do drugs or go dating or do lots of different things because they're not ready for it we can objectively see that but for some reason when it comes to this we're supposed to just throw that all out the window or you're a hate monger like what type of therapy do we have that identifies as early as possible who's actually trans versus who just has like other feelings and they're trendy or they're looking for a community that like accepts them etc etc what is actually trans like i really and i do not mean this out of a sense of hate i mean out of a sense of objective observable reality and biological science uh, a man is not a woman and a woman is not a man that's just the way it is and uh, people can pretend and that's fine i have no problem with that just don't force us to be play along with it and don't force kids to do it but i feel like when conservatives talk about it they're always just like no f that shit ban it all it's social contagion ban all of it f these people drag shows are bad children should never talk to a trans person and that's what it that's like the overwhelming amount of like feeling comes from it well in destiny as usual is is misdirecting and uh, misleading about what the actual issue is. People are not against drag shows. Drag shows have been going on forever. Nobody cared. I mean, look at Kids in the Hall. I grew up watching Kids in the Hall. Kids in the Hall was hugely popular. The guys that were part of that are still to this day. Uh, and it's not a political thing. They did drag constantly on the show. It, I remember watching it as a kid. I thought it was weird, but I didn't hate them for it. Nobody cared. Okay, it's the fact that you're now trying to involve kids and he kind of snuck in there trans talking or uh, kids talking to trans people are drag people trans now like I thought that drag was just its own thing. I could be wrong about that. But the issue is when kids are being subjected to drag performances that are adult oriented when you're seeing adult men showing, you know, spreading their legs, showing their balls, showing their ass, getting money, participating with the children. That's a problem. You know, doing this act with a big neon side of the background that says uh, it's not going to lick itself. I get it's a double entendre, but they picked it, it because it's an ice cream place, but they picked that on purpose. Uh, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, this, but there's people who would like argue that ch children who feel that they are like transgender or feel that they're in the wrong body should receive, receive like gender affirming care or receive like medical treatment to help them. yeah there's a group of people like the self id crowd where it's like if a child says it, they should instantly get it and it's like obviously that's stupid right we okay. need like a better we need a better vetting process i think and i think that conservatives are but i see i feel like conservative opposition to that and the things that lead to that are reasonable like i feel like right. like i don't feel like that's hatred and i think that bingo if, it, if if i heard conservatives talking about finding better ways to identify real trans people i would believe it See, and this is the this is the gap here, the real trans people thing. Destiny, there are no human beings that are ghosts trapped in the wrong body. Like if a person has a mental condition where they believe there's something they're not, uh, we don't say that they are that thing. Uh, and there's lots of different some people think they're animals. Some people think they're transracial. Neither of those things is mainstream accepted yet. I'm sure at some point they will be on the path that we're going. When you when you abandon objective reality, anything's possible. And I, I really believe that's the ultimate objective here, that people who are so-called trans are really just a vehicle for authoritarian, totalitarian, 1984 type characters in power to essentially take control of what people see as reality and then they can mold and manipulate them way easier more but it's just they always feel like just want to get rid of all of it like when i hear about like especially for trans youth it's always like get rid of it get rid of it make it illegal no medical intervention even with parental consent no medical intervention and then i feel like at that point it's like fuck like do you just not believe that anybody can know they're trans before 18 because there's probably some people that know that right and now you basically said like fuck you what? go through puberty get fucked people are who they are like if you think you're something you're not in your mind is it a good thing to to live out a life where you're living a lie essentially an illusion that is a, a personal choice on uh, that an adult would make and again i think an adult should be able to make that choice and again it comes down to the question of should a child be involved in that obviously we have a very huge disconnect here between people like destiny who are willing to just jump off the reality train into la la land where ghosts inhabit the wrong bodies and you know you can literally just change into something that you, you can't because i mean there's big differences between men and women that you know simply putting on makeup and a wig or chopping things off or putting things on doesn't change you're never going to be the opposite sex it's just a delusion that you're living out so for 
destiny to talk like this it's like we're all in that delusion that's a problem and so for you yeah. you define hate as like hate is i want to go and actually yeah, kill somebody yeah. well not even kill somebody like i actually want to harm that person well right? harm i mean is you could argue that barring children from getting like sorts of like uh gender affirming care is like a form of harm right if people always say suicidal i think, people I think I no no giving them is harming them there are definite negative side effects to giving them these hormone blo blockers and stopping the normal development of a human being I think it would lead to harm, but it wouldn't be direct harm itself, right? Because there's a step between, all right, I tell this person they want to kill themselves, and then they actually kill themselves. Would you say, like, convincing somebody to do suicide is the same as, like, first-degree murder? It's not right? the same, but they're definitely, like, levels of harm. If you tell, like, a, if you tell a diabetic, a type 1 diabetic, that he's not allowed to have access to exogenous insulin anymore, and then he I, dies, like, is, I, you're not directly harming him, but wait, I mean, like... Wait, you wait, wait. Why would anybody, first of all, stop a diabetic from getting insulin? That would be murder. Because an, a diabetic has to have insulin in order to survive. A child does not need hormone blockers to survive. In fact, that child is going to live a lot better if they get to go about their normal biological human development as they normally would and not have it stopped in order to affirm something that ultimately is not real, is an illusion. It's something that just exists in the head. It's not real. And... Again, if you require the outside world to join you in that delusion in order to live, in order, then that's a problem because we're not responsible for other people's personal lives and their personal thoughts. That's on them. If a trans person decides to do that, that was their choice. It has nothing to do with anybody else. If they're an adult and they would like to have them, then they should be able to get them. I have no problem with that. But if we're going to include kids, that's where the debate is. And I do find it disturbing that Destiny is both trying to make this an issue of it's conservatives that have a problem with this because conservatives are a popular punching bag. We could just say that this position is a conservative position and it kind of wards other people off from joining it. They don't want to be in that group. They don't want to take that. They may be thinking it. They may be having the same thoughts, but they're going to be discouraged from actually uh, uh, talking about it and, and saying it because they don't want to be put into this negative group. And then on top of that, you have Destiny calling it hate because when you call it hate, then that becomes an issue that the government and the media can get involved in and start suppressing you, censoring you, punishing you, uh, passing laws against you so that you can't speak and maybe you even get jailed. Maybe you're a threat to these people. Maybe your words are violence. Okay, this is the road that we're going down. This is the problem. Uh, and ultimately, that's what this debate is about. It's not really even about trans people, per se. But that is all I have for that one. I hope you enjoyed it. I think you should go and watch the entire thing. It was actually a pretty interesting debate. I think he interviews four students. So go over and check that out. I will put the link in the description and pinned comment. And I hope you leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot. Have a great week.